So here they want you to they want you to prove the statement if p is a prime, 2p plus 1 is also a prime by taking a counter example. So p should be prime. So I'm going to start with p is 2. If you put it here, 2 times 2 plus 1, it's 5. This is also a prime number. So let's try with some other prime, maybe 3. When you try 3, 2 times 3 plus 1 is 7. Again, a prime number. Try with next prime, 5. You get 2 times 5 plus 1 is 11. 11 is also a prime. How about we take next one? 2 times 7 plus 1, 15 is not a prime. So whenever they ask you to prove a statement is wrong, prove a st the given statement is wrong by taking a counter example, try not to take a random number. Start with the simple numbers and just move on. At some point you can disprove the statement. Here, they say if n is an integer, it can be positive or negative. This expression is always even. That's what it, this will give you an even number. That's what they want you to prove. So we need to take two cases. When they say n is an integer, it can be an even integer. So the expression for even integer, when we take it as 2k, instead of using the same alphabet. And it can be a odd also, 2k plus 1. Remember, if you want to take it as even, you will always put it as 2k. If you want to take it as odd number, write it as 2k plus 1. Plug in here and check whether you get an even number. And there is one more case, apart from even and the odd, when I say even, it can be positive or negative even number. Here, positive or negative odd number. And it can be 0 also. If you put 0 here, definitely 12 is an even number. So now we put 2k here, 5 times 2k square plus 2k plus 12. You get 4, 2 square is 4, 20k square plus 2k plus 12. So if you take x as a, 2 as a common factor here, you get 10k square plus k plus 6. So if you can write an expression, an ex given expression, in this form, 2 times something, 2 times something, that definitely will give you an even number. Because no matter whatever value you get here, you are going to multiply by 2. So this will definitely even. So therefore, it's even number. So we have proved it for this case. Now what if the integer is an odd number? You put 2k plus 1 here in the place of n. 5 times 2k plus 1 whole square plus 2k plus 1 plus 12. Expand it, try to write it in this form, 2 times something. So when you expand it, 5 times a plus b whole square. a square plus 2ab plus b square plus 2k plus 13, 12 plus 1. Whoa. Is supposed to be 5. Open the bracket and simplify, you will get 20k square plus 20k plus 2k is 22k plus 5 plus 13 is 18. So if you take 2 as a common factor, you get 10k square plus 11k plus 9. Therefore, this also even number because we have written the expression as 2 times something. So that's how we prove this. You need to take the even number first, n equals even number, and n equals odd number, and prove this separately. The most common mistake here, whenever they want you to prove that this expression is even, I have seen students, they plug in some random values for n, and for example, let's say they put n is equal to 3, you get some even number and put n is equal to 5, you get even number. They say, therefore, this is always even. No, that's wrong. You are proving it for only two particular cases. You have to prove it for all integers. So it is not possible to take all the integers and prove this 
this expression will give you an even number that's why you need to take even and odd separately the general expression for even is 2k for odd number is 2k plus 1 plug in here and prove this will produce an even number 